This video is by Mark Kingston from the ARA Institute of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, setting up the TIG torch now. Got these TIG torches here in the workshop. Uh, got a micro switch on here, it's lost, lost the cover off it, but it's okay. Got this little valve on here. Now you want to open that up when you come into the class and actually leave it open. Should be left open on the torches anyway because the micro switch will start the gas flow. So uh, all the pieces to assemble it. We've got this um, collet holder here. We've got the collet that goes into the collet holder. On the back face of the torch we've got a long back cap and we've got a stubby back cap. They actually make an intermediate size one which I haven't got on the table. Uh, obviously having the smaller one uh, allows you to get into very tight spaces when you don't want to do some welding. Otherwise just put a standard one on it because it allows you to put a whole electrode up on the inside of it. Whereas if you use the small one on the torch you're going to have to have quite a short um, tungsten to get it into the torch. So uh, other than that we've got some ceramics here. Got a number 5 as you can see it's got a 5 stamped on it or marked on it. Number 6 number seven and number eight so the difference uh, is it's actually to do with the orifice size and the openings of the end of them so you can see that the five is quite a bit smaller than the eight uh, and it works on the old American uh, welding society system so five is actually five times one and a half millimeters so five times one and a half is uh, what's that um, seven and a half millimeter opening so it'll have a seven and a half millimeter orifice Whereas the number 8 at the other end, uh, 8 times 1.5 is 12 millimetres, so the internal bore of that ceramic will be 12, 6 times 1.5 is 9, 7 times 1.5 is 10.5. So they will uh, just allow you to get a bit more gas through them. You might want to run a smaller ceramic to get into a tighter spot than what you would with an 8. And they make uh, larger sizes than what I've got sitting here on the table, but these are principally the ones we run here at the Polytech. So getting the torch, the first thing you need to do is to screw the collet holder into the front face. So that just screws into the front face and it only needs to be finger tight. You don't have to do it any tighter than that. We'll put a number uh, 7 on it today for ceramic. So that just screws on to the collet holder. Just do it finger tight once again. You don't have to over tighten it. Then we need to put the um, Coll it into the actual torch. Now this small end, this end which I'm tapping with my finger has got a small taper on it. As you can see the other end is a bit bigger. Now that goes on the back face. So the small end into the uh, collet holder, just drop it in. Then we can take a tungsten, we feed it down through the actual centre of it. Can't quite see it on the camera but it just feeds in through the front face. And then we take our back cap and we screw it onto the back. It's got a little, uh, you can see that little red o-ring there, that's just going to screw into there. So what the back cap does is um, before you do it up tight you can slide your electrode backwards and forwards. But when you do it up and pinch it off with the back cap it actually locks the tungsten in, you can't actually pull it backwards and forwards. And the o-ring seals the gas in the back of it. So when you hit the micro switch the gas will go into the torch can get into the back cap but because you've tightened it off and the o-rings there the gas can only go forward so it's going to come out the front face of the torch. So that's how you uh, assemble a TIG torch in the welding and fabrication shop.